All right, L up here, B culture. So in this video, we're going to quickly dive into this new plugin by Azotope called Via. I've been playing with this plugin for quite some time. I just did a video in the car a little earlier today to show you guys some of the scenarios that you deal with when trying to clean vocals. You know what I mean? We we do the best we can, I guess, but we we don't always be in the best situations. Um, this is for the person who would take their regular phone or any camera and don't necessarily have a professional miking system to capture the audio in the best way. And then even then, sometimes you just can't avoid ambient sounds, outside sounds, you know, just surround sounds. You, you know, you know what I mean? So this plugin is designed to fix that problem. So here's the first video that I did. And I have two that I did. So this is one. There's harsh air blowing through the vents. You guys I'm gonna boost this. On the streams or videos because my mic has a gate on it or an expander and it helps prevent background sound. But all right, this is. So basically this video is me talking into the camera and there is background the the AC here where I am blows pretty loud. You guys don't hear it on the stream, but it it is pretty loud, so that's why I have to have gates and whatnot on my my voice to help cure that problem. So I I definitely want to see what happens. And actually I want to split the audio here, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna put this on a separate track. I'm going to just just bring this down. Let's throw via on here. And it wants to listen to the audio. So I'm guessing it's going to try to correct the, the problem just by listening. There's let's let's harsh play it. air blowing through the vents. You guys never hear this on the streams or videos because my mic has a gate. So it's listening. It's listening. Or expander. And it helps prevent. So that is via's thought process it is it, it, it there's harsh air blowing through the vent. also you could change you guys never how it looks on the streams or videos because my mic has a gate on it or an expander so if i just go ahead and start playing with the the knobs and whatnot just to see there's harsh air blowing through the vents you guys never hear this on the streams or videos because my mic has a gate on it or an expander and it helps prevent background sound but this is being recorded on my, my iphone and we're just going to see how much of this we can clean up can okay I, I i am impressed i am impressed but these three three different knobs does something unique so let's go over it so the first knob is the clean knob and it removes unwanted background noise as you guys can can see or hear the second one is the shape it applies equalization for a professional tone and presence as i definitely heard that this is the boost button and this is to increase the level and improve dynamics by reducing peaks and boosting quiet section sections so Let's listen back to this again. There's harsh air blowing through the vents. You guys never hear this on the streams or videos because my mic has a gate on it or an expander and it helps prevent background sound. Now, I don't know about much of the peaks that I have. So this is like a mini compression. It compresses the signal a lot better. I don't have any, well that, well, yeah, I don't have much up and down audio from this situation, but that's what that does. And I think it's doing pretty, pretty good job, to be honest with you. You also have presets in here. Yeah, be a beautiful planet, garage pod, public radio. Oh, let's go through some of them, see what it sounds like. There's harsh air blowing through the vents. You guys never hear this. Uh, on the streams or videos because my mic has a gate on it hmm. or an expander 
and it helps prevent background sound. But this is okay. Being so, recorded on my, my iPhone, and we're just going to see how much of this we can clean up. So what I'm realizing is usually when you, you dial in different presets, the knobs change. So I want to say in the background, there's it. this is dealing with the engine. You know what I mean? Whatever the, whatever the 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 math behind this plugin is doing what it's doing, and these knobs is you you're you're just making your adjustments on top of what it's doing on on you know on top of the preset itself. So to, if I'm thinking about this, this is what makes this pop, this plugin even more powerful because it's not just these three knobs, and you get these presets that just change between them. This actually is doing something under the hood as well. Let me change this back. I think I like it. I like the black better. That's smooth right there. All right. So if we hit the settings. Not much going on here. Show two tips. Synonymous. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. So not much going on. And in, in, so... I think this is cool. It's real clean, sleek, simple. You know what I mean? I use the voice. What is it? Voice. Uh, I can't even remember the name of it, but it's another. It's another Isotope plugin, the, the voice denoiser, right? Or voice denoise. I use that a lot when cleaning the audio, but this one right here is, is, is geared towards what we are doing here. You know what I mean? And you can go even even further. So I think it's doing a great a, a great job with it. You There's know. harsh air blowing through the vent. So let's bypass you that. You guys never hear this on the streams or videos because my mic has a gate on it or an expander, and it helps prevent background sound. But this is being recorded okay. on my, my iPhone, and we're just going to see how much of this we can clean up. Can y'all hear that in the background? Okay. So obviously, it is 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 dealing with the low end. Is like bringing it up. It's trying to fix that. But again, those those are different presets. So let's move on to the next one. Let's see what what this one is doing because this one is 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 a little bit different. I was on the on the road, and just like a lot of people there. Are, doing videos in the car or just out in nature maybe so i'm gonna go for i'm gonna go for via again separate drag and drop this on here and let's start the audio what's up people this is ella and i'm driving in the car I'm doing this video for you guys so we can do a review. Because okay. Because some people do it this way. So, uh, it it's definitely cleaning up the rumble. It did it did what it thought it should do. What's up, people? So bypass that. This is Ella, and I am driving in the car. I'm doing this video for you guys. So there's quite a bit of rumble in there, and it cleaned it up. What's up, people? But the cool thing is that you can dial it back. You know what I mean? You can make your adjustments if you felt like it did too much. You know. What's up, people? This is Ella, and I am driving in the car. I'm doing Something this like video that. for you guys so we can do a review because some people do it this way. And what better way to test out the Via plugin? So this is what's happening. So the dynamics or the boost is actually boosting the voice and it's like it's cleaning up the background. That's what it's doing. It's cleaning up the background, eliminating the, the, the that sound and it's boosting the voice. What's and, up, people? This is Ella. And I'm driving in the car. I'm doing this video for you guys so we can do a review because some people do it this way. And what better way to test out the via? So I'm gonna go here. The road 
the streets as they go through the cracks or whatever, blah, 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 right? I am at a stoplight. So I think I did something here that I wanted to see how well B works. I'm going to try to test my audio with the... Kind of don't make sense. We still kind of hear the car in the background. But what if we just completely get it out of there? Extreme test. If someone decides that they don't want the radio that they're playing in the background not to be in. Okay. So... It's not completely taking everything out, which is totally fine because that would be unnatural. So I like the fact that it's it's not just trying to eliminate everything because you will get artifacts. But from what it was doing before, you know, if I bypass this again. Dream, stream test, you know, or the audio portion of their, whatever that they're recording. And I feel like, I mean, it doesn't sound too bad, but what what it's doing is it's doing the best it can to clean up the 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 background, right? Without making your voice sound, it's just trying to make your voice sound as natural as it can without the artifacts. Because, like I say, if you if you don't do that, then you're going to now. If you need a little bit more. You want this to do more surgical, then you have to go ahead and grab the isotope bundle, you know what I mean, where you can get access to the denoiser. And then the denoiser can actually pinpoint sounds. But there's quite a bit of things going on in this video. You got the rumbles going, and then you got the, the bell, you know, because I refuse to wear a seatbelt. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. But you got a couple of things that's happening in the background. Yo, or the audio portion of their whatever that they're in. so let's reactivate this I feel like that you should have turned the radio off and due to copyright issues it's probably not a good idea period from the jump let's just so change somebody have here. the air on you know the AC let me see if I can turn my on a little you got so that constant beat I don't know if it it's turned on so I got the heat on. So say we're super cold. We got the A, the So if I on. even if I go right here. But this might be the same sound as the AC. Let's right? bypass that. It's just fan blowing. That's all it's really Can y'all hear that? So while it's bypassed right there, I'm gonna just fast forward right here. It it definitely sounds like the background sound is overtaking my voice. Jump. It's more Sometimes muffled. You have the air on, but if I turn it back on see if I can turn my on a little you see what I'm saying you got that constant beat I don't know if so this is definitely I feel like this is definitely worth it um what it's doing to the vocals because it it's making your voice is is bringing out the clarity I think that's what it's all about your voice is more clear I can hear what I'm saying versus all of the rumble that was happening in the background and so and it's doing it in the most natural way possible. Jump. But sometimes people have the air on, you know, the AC. Now, I feel like with this, the shape, like if you dial it back, it gives me more of the beefiness of my voice. Jump. But sometimes people have the air on, you know, the AC. You know what I mean? Let me see if I can turn my eyes on. You got that constant beat. I don't know if it is turned on. But this might be the same sound as the AC, right? Because it's just fan blowing. That's all it really is. All right. So for for, for something like this, I mean, I, I'm obviously in the car. And, you know, you can use this to bring forward your voice, you know, focus in the front, more clarity or whatever. But I think that this works best if you are like, just out and about probably at Nam, you know what I mean? Or you got a lot of commotion going on or at, you know, you out there on the streets, you know what I mean? You, you, you doing things like that. Um, I think via is a, is a sweet plug in to clean up that type of stuff around, you know, you, you know, production like that. 
I, I feel like this is where the shine. But like I say, if you want something that's a little bit more surgical, then you, you obviously go for a denoiser, which I do feel like even that the isotope line is definitely dope because I use I use that all the time. So if I if that's what I'm going for, then I you know what I mean. But like for this thing right here, bruh, for what it's doing and for it to be as simple as this, I think that this is a game changer, if I must say so myself. So it should be it should be good there. Yeah. So versus this. But this might be the same sound as the AC. Right? Now, obviously, the beef, the beefness in my voice is gone, you know. But again, like for the clarity, I mean, maybe you could do this. But this maybe you could turn the this same on. Sound as the AC, right? Because let's just see if this works. Going, Actually, it won't is. work because I'm gonna just reintroduce the. I don't think it has anything to do with the model, but this might be the same sound as the AC, right? Because it's just fan blowing. That's all it really is. You probably don't want to do do this, but but this might be the same sound as. I feel like that's not too bad, though, bro. Like that. But this might be the same. It brings in a little bit more of my, so I have the plug in as actually surgically eliminating the, the low rumbles in the background. I am actually reintroducing it a little bit, but it's bringing back some of my vocal, the beefiness of my vocal. And it's not, it doesn't sound too bad though. You know what I mean? But this might be the same sound as the AC. Right, because it's just fan blowing. That's all. And then I could just probably roll off the rest of it. I don't think it has anything to do with yeah, the something like model, that. Like the car. So I'm 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 increasing like like a hundred hertz right here, while rolling off. I guess starting at fifty hertz is rolling off the rumble through the EQ. So I just introduce. But this might be the same sound as the AC. Right? I, I think because that sounds good. Blowing. That's all it really is. And then the other thing is, because it's in stereo, obviously what I would do is change it to mono because it, it is it has a stereo feel going on here. So, And I'm going to just mute the first track because it's the video track all together. And we're going to listen to this. But this might be the same sound as the AC, right? Because it's just fan blowing. That's all. Right. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to uh, change this to mono. So I'm going to click this button right here. If y'all can see that. But this might be the same sound as the AC, right? Right. Because it's just fan blowing. That's all it really is. I don't think it has anything to do with so the let's model. So let's bypass this. Like the car, it's all noise. So my voice sounds pretty bright. But this might be the same sound as... But you know, it, it, this might not be too bad, though. So I'm going to bring this back via back here. But Let's, this might be the same sound as... So deactivate the that. AC, right? This is what it sounds like. I don't think it has anything to do with the model. So this is in mono. So, yeah, of course, I should have told you guys to wear some headphones because that's how you will heal better. You you quickly identify that I went from a wide stereo sound to a mono straight center down the middle. But this might be the same sound as... So I'm going to turn the EQ on, right? actually. It's just fan blowing. That's all it really is. So... I don't think it has anything to do with the model. With just the EQ boosting this 100 hertz right here, it sounds weird. But this might be the... It definitely boosted the the wind, you know, rushing against my windows of the vehicle just traveling on, on the streets. So it, it definitely boosts. That's that's definitely an unwanted sound, but if we go back but to this via... This might be the same sound as 
the AC, right? Because it's just Not, a fan blowing. That's all it really is. Too bad. Let's deactivate the EQ here. I don't think it has anything to do with the model, like the car. It's all noise. So it should be, it should be good there. Yeah. I mean, you know, it 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 is what it is. I, I mean, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Of course, if you want a clean background, you got you obviously got to go somewhere where you, you, the room that you're recording is 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 professionally padded, is clean, is dead, and you have a a mic with a built-in windscreen or muffle to help eliminate whatever that's coming in there, and then of course record when there's no activity going on in the room and that's how you get the best audio like any day anywhere but if you are like most people who record out and about in the world and there's a lot going on then having something like via will definitely help you clean up your audio and make it sound pristine i i like it all right so if we're looking at the cpu it is eating quite a bit of cpu but this might be the same sound i will say that so it's not one of those right light plugins but you better make sure that this is all you're doing in that project I, I will say that it is it is eating quite a bit it's, it's i'm seeing it jump into the 25 but this might range. be the same sound as the ac right because it's just 26 that's all it really is I thought I saw 27 for a second. With the model, like the car. But yeah, but that to me, that's not even a problem. Because there's a couple of things happening here. Obviously, there's a video that we that we're playing. You know what I mean? So it's processing the video and then it's also processing via. I wouldn't advise trying to do this inside of a project you, that you're working in and you got a bunch of plugins already so I, I would say just bring it in a, a, a clean session clean it up bring it back over to wherever you you, you know what i mean if that's what you're doing but for something quick like this i i, I think it's dope i am really trying to end the video but I, you know i just i couldn't wait to tell you guys about it because i had the prototype or whatever and just testing and i was like man this is this is kind of cool. This is this is really kind of cool. Anyway, that's all I have, guys. Be culture, lifestyle, government, art.